Monkey's Lunch, submitted by Steven. Simple. Kahlua, banana, milk. It's like a white Russian without the Russian and with monkeys. I'm gonna use my ice. Boom. For a couple cubes right in there, that should be enough. Because this is not a very big drink. Boom, boom. And then, we're going to add our Kahlua. I'll start with this. We're using creme de banana. We're just going with arrow instead of 99 because 99 is pretty potent and I haven't got to use this in a while. And I figure we, we should probably bang it out and get rid of it. So we're gonna do an ounce of Kahlua, ounce of creme de banana, and then we're gonna add milk. And I'll probably not add too, too much milk. We'll see. It's the fill thing. Well, it's based on how big your glass is, right? Then this is just standard old Kahlua. I'm almost out of the standard stuff. Yeah, I have plenty of the other ones. So you could probably modify this if you use French vanilla Kahlua or pumpkin banana spice. or pumpkin spice. Yeah, with banana, no. Hmm, pumpkin spice and banana. I, oh, maybe, I don't know. I wish I could remember what top this went to. Sometime along the line, the bottles got swapped. Boom. Pour that in there. Oh yeah. Add us in some milk. Looks like we will be able to get a good topping in here. That should do. Glue and milk with banana. How is it going to be bad? <laughs> oh, it's not about being bad. I just... No, I'll probably need to add some more. I just don't want it to... No, I'm just saying. How, I'm not saying you called it bad. No, no. I know. Whoa! Well, that's, that's the suck. No. Wow, that was weird. I thought this was one of those halfers. So... Hackers? Halfers. Half size. Hacked your glass? Yes. I hacked it. A hack sword! You know what? Hack sword! Boom! Now I get more. Yep, looks just like any other Kahlua or White Russian look to it. Although, with White Russians, if you use heavy cream, this is milk. If you use the heavy cream, it'll probably be even brighter. And you probably need less of it. And it's gonna have a lot more calories. So that means it's gonna be good! You know, I just don't go wrong with Kahlua and milk. Looking for banana, man, I'm so surprised at how little banana is impacted. It smells like banana. Dominic in the chat room made it too. He said, tastes good, lots of banana. Can you give me the 99 bananas? I'm thinking this is just not gonna cut it. Where Third one on that bottom, oh, middle row. Yeah, I, I just don't, like it's not even giving me sweet banana. It's just, it's bad. I'll try adding a little bit of this. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna redeem this drink right now. Otherwise it tastes like Kahlua and milk. Um, I'm gonna go full ounce, see what it does. Since the other stuff isn't making any difference. Boom. This sh shall be the winner. Because the problem is, to me, it just tasted like clue in milk, which is awesome. But at the same time, I could just have saved an ingredient if I'm going to do it that way. Dude, I can smell the banana now. It's 99 proof. Jesus. Uh, that's what I want. I want... I just want somebody to make this product. Oh, the Dominic says he uses Marie Brizard creme de banana. I'm just gonna look for creme de banana. Creme de banana. That's not arrow. Uh, I don't ever heard of he Marie Brizard. A lot of, he tasted a lot of banana. So. You taste it now. The problem is this brings a lot of extra oh, lighten oh. up your face. So while now I get banana and coffee with a milk is more of the, the transport. The thing that's that's carrying the most liquid so you're not having to drink like straight on alcohol at an eight ounce glass. This does make it a little bit more intense. I just wish 99, and it wouldn't make sense for 99 because they're 99%, right, or 99, 99 proof. So it's 99 banana. The product has to be 99, otherwise it would be 40 banana or 28 or whatever. This is 17%. Um, this is almost a hundred. You might as well be. So 
I don't really care about the alcohol proofage. I care about overall flavor. It smells like banana now. There was no banana. This is like those little yellow runts. Huh. The banana is now up front, a little bit in the middle, coffee at the back. It's like, it's like a banana mullet. Dude, you get a nice rich banana, but then the back end finish is really, uh, got that like coffee centric light flavor. It's not huge beanie action, it's just the Kahlua, and it may be a little more predominant if you don't dump in an ounce of this crap and use just straight on 99. Matter of fact, oh, it's made in France. Mm. I'm gonna fix this Marie up a little bit. Brizard. Because I think it just needs a little bit more since we overwhelmed it with, with the banana. See if we can get it back rocking on the same. Right there. I don't know what the measure was. Just do it right the first time. Definitely now you're getting a little bit more of that rich, almost like chocolate syrup coffee thing, which is what makes Kahlua and milk work so well. Mudslides are awesome because they even bring in some chocolate. When did we go, where were we when we made all those mudslides that time? I remember we had a blender and we were just making mudslides for like ever and everybody had brain freeze. Where, was that in college? I just remember at some point we were like, we would do like decorations yeah, with chocolate around the edges and we get all crazy. I don't remember if it was college or if it was here. That's such a good time. Like to just sit down and just drink mudslides all night. Like how else do you celebrate? And then probably a couple of 18 inch pizzas. It's college. You're supposed to gain 70 pounds. Yeah. Keep telling me something. <laughs> I'll drink of New York. Doesn't They have that brand, but they don't have creme de banana. And you know what I did? I did, I bought, I did my drink of New York purchase. And I forgot Mezcal. So now I have to go do another one. Oh, you it, did? It, you, were sure, you weren't sure if you... Yeah, it wasn't. I, it arrived. I got two products. So I was supposed to get Mezcal. I've been trying forever to get Mezcal. And it just... It doesn't seem to ever happen for me. So there you go. Monkey's lunch. Question of the day. Anybody? Uh, yeah, hold on. We got one! Cha-ching! That doesn't happen very often. Um, we got like two it. this week. Is mm -hmm. somebody just pumping out the questions? You guys are going to be thinking of this ahead of time. I should do like a thing right when I walk in. Everybody, think about a question of the day. What is everyone's opinion of this whole delivery drone? Delivery by drone thing. That's awesome! Great question! So, if you've watched 60 Minutes, if you're not in the U.S., Where 60 is Minutes is a show that's on for 59 minutes. Um, this commercials. It's they, they went through and they talked to Bezos, the owner of, or the CEO, the, the, the man behind Amazon, and he shows off Amazon's drone system that's going to, in maybe like five years or so, it's going to be able to take like a, a small, whatever their average size package is, it's not much, like eight pounds or whatever it was, and like it clamps on and the drone just flies it within like a half hour of your delivery and lands it on your front door and, and then the flies away. Your purchase. Yeah, half hour of your purchase. You literally go click. You know what? I need something in this really light. Let's say um, candle light candles. Books. Books. Amazon books. Amazon. I want to buy the new book that just came out. He said eighty percent of their stuff is under. Is yeah, I know it's, it's all super light. Seems weird. I never buy anything on Amazon that's light. <laughs> Do I? Um, you should go to my Instagram and look at the fi picture. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, of somebody, they sent me a a single strainer, and they put it in a huge box, and it makes no sense why they did that. And uh, I'm Instagram slash or Everyday Drinkers, Instagram doc com slash everyday drinkers I'm gonna guess uh, but these little zone, drones you'd be able to order something I don't know when, by the time the drones come out and they launch though do you think they're gonna be uh, you think they're gonna still be shipping real books I know Doug Doug would like to think so but my, my yeah, theory they is they will I think there's a lot of people that like real books that um, will buy real books my I can't get my I don't know why my screen rotation oh. working awesome I just thought of a great gift for your mom you thought of a, <laughs> what <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can get this this to work. Screen rotation. I always turn my screen rotation off because Waze starts to do funny things. Uh, like rotate. Let's see if I can get it. This was the picture. See if you guys can see it. It's a box, and in the center is a small. You can check Instagram too. A small strainer. A huge box. They sent me a box like this, this deep, and it's shaking all around. I'm like, something broken in here. And I take it out, and there's a single strainer. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, that's right. A single strander sitting in there. I couldn't believe it. So if this was Amazon, that would have arrived by drone in a half hour of me purchasing, and it would be in a tiny little yellow carton. What do you guys think? Do you think we should use drones for delivery systems? Personally, my opinion, heck yes. If I could buy whatever. That's the coolest idea ever. I don't not. I'm skeptical that it will actually evolve into and I like be released. If and it's not somebody's not controlling <laughs> it was funny either. to watch the Daily Show where he's like he'll be attacked by yeah, drones. Like oh, it knocking was like people a, off the head. Yeah, and, they're they're gonna be carpet bombing you with gifts. <laughs> uh, I just they 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 don't control it. It's just they put in GPS coordinates, boom, and it, it comes down, lands, and takes off. But that's what they're. I mean, they have to get the. They gotta do something. Um, the troubleshooting where they don't. They, he yeah. said that he doesn't want it landing on people's heads. Yeah, anything, you can't I land mean. on people, kill people, do stuff like that. So there's there's technology, but it's it's kind of a neat idea. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you like being uh, drone striked by by gifts and toys and and small light objects that have Amazon mm -hmm. logos on them? What do you guys think about that? I think it's pretty it would cool. Be awesome. I I but I'm, but I'm also the guy that would be fine with like ocular and or. or or, 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 I'm thinking German. What are the eyes? What were those ocu no, on oculars? Are they ocular? Whatever. Eye implants so that I can get yes, a heads up display ocular. of everything. Because then I could see people and it would be like, Bing, that's John Doe. Hey, John, how's it going? And I just know who everybody would be. I think yeah, be what if people started stealing the drones just to have them? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe some terrorists. Took the they probably, over. come on, there's no <laughs> doubt a drone is GPSed. So, I mean, they're going to find it. They know where it's going to go. It's going <laughs> to yeah. land in your house. Where was the drone last seen? Well, let's see. It landed at Bobby's house. Yeah, but he's going to say, I didn't charge it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, no doubt it'll have a camera phoning home with the black box, too. That's everydaydrinkers.com. You can go there to get all of our reviews, all of our videos. If you don't like to type in the words, youtube.com slash everydaydrinkers. Um, you can also check us out on google.com slash plus everydaydrinkers. Facebook.com slash cocktail TV. Submit your recipes to recipe at everydaydrinker.com. It's singular recipe at everydaydrinker.com. We're done. You can get these foot highballs. You know where. Awesomedrinks.com. We're teaching you how to drink.